Good morning students. I am your English teacher Richa Dubey. I welcome you all in the APS E classes where we are going to study chapter 3 from class 9 from our main course book Beehive. Now chapter 3 is about a little girl. The author of this chapter the little girl is Catherine Mansfield. Now before starting I would like to tell you about the author Kathleen Mansfield. Now Kathleen Mansfield Murray was a prominent modernist writer and was born and brought up in New Zealand. She wrote short stories and poetry under the pen name Kathleen Mansfield. So Kathleen Mansfield was her pen name and actual name was Kathleen Mansfield Murray. She was born on 14th October 1888 in Wellington, New Zealand. And she died in 9th Jan on 9th January 1923 in Fontainebleau, France. Uh, let's now start with the chapter, The Little Girl. Now before starting with the chapter, The Little Girl, I want to give you a short introduction to observe. Now as you can see in this picture, what do you notice in this pic? What do you notice? There are uh, there are uh, there is a father and a mother and a child. Now, father, mother, and child, all three are there. And what are they doing? Father and mother, both of them are busy, and the child is observing. So, what is your observation? Observation number one. What is observation number one? Father is sleeping, and mother is reading. What is observ observation 2? Parents are busy. Parents don't have time to give to their child. And so because of this what happens? There is a communication gap. And this communication gap leads to certain misconceptions in the mind of the child. Now let's start with the summary of this story the little girl now this is the story about a little girl whose name was Kezia and she was too scared of her father she was scared of her father why because of his dominating nature and he was very strict and disciplined so all the time he was keeping a distance and was a, a very rude to Kezia because Maybe from his point of view, he wanted Kezia to be disciplined and a good child. So Kezia was generally scared of her father and she used to keep a distance from him. Whenever he was at home, she used to keep a distance from him and she considered him to be as big as a giant. This was the image formed by Kezia for her father that my father is like a giant and I need to maintain a distance from him. And she used to be very nervous when she was facing her father. And the moment he, she is standing in front of her father, she used to start stuttering and stammering. Now what is stuttering and stammering? Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so she used to stutter while talking to him. So actually she doesn't have the uh, speech problem, but because of the fear, because of the uh, worry and the tension she used to feel that uh, that anxiety she used to feel while talking to her father made her stutter in front of her father now once she was kept indoors on account of being affected by cold her grandmother advised her to make a gift for her father's birthday next week so once uh, and she was so scared Kezia was so scared of her father that the moment she used to hear the sound of the of his father's vehicle pass away, she used to feel so happy and relaxed and relieved and she used to take a deep breath. Wow, now I am free. As if she was under a bondage. So when she used to hear the sound of her father's vehicle going at a distance, she used to feel very relaxed and she used to feel very happy. Now, one day her grandmother advised her to make a gift for her father's birthday next week. She suggested 
uh, her grandmother she used to sleep with her grandmother so one day the grandmother told oh you know your father is not that bad and it is his birthday next week so what gift you are going to give it to him so she suggested that she should make a pin cushion for him so she asked granny what should i make so granny told that okay make a pin cushion for him now what is a pin cushion it's a small cushion or in to hold pins all pins okay so it's a small cushion to hold pins now kezia made a beautiful pin cushion but she inadvertently made a mistake now what happened she was she uh, took uh, the cloth and she made a, and she stretched three sides of the cushion and she left the fourth side it was uh, uh, just to uh, put something inside the cushion now what she should put she searched 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 but she couldn't get it now what happened she went in her father's room and there she found some papers lying on the table so she thought those papers must be a waste paper so what she did was she tore them into pieces and then those pieces she uh, put it into the cushion and stitched it now one day what and now what happened the father came and searched for those papers those papers were actually very important papers they, that was actually an important speech of father so there was you know complete chaos at the house and father was shouting and mother was rushing here and there searching for those papers some important papers are lost important papers are lost then suddenly mother realized that i need to ask kezia so mother went to kezia and she asked her that did you take any paper from father's desk so she was so innocent and our children are very innocent so kezia said yes there were some papers lying so i took those papers and i cut them into pieces and i have filled my cushion because i want to give a gift to dad now mother couldn't understand so she just dragged her in front of father and father got so annoyed he was so angry so angry that uh, she was punished that he punished her and that incident further estranged kezia from her father and after that incident she maintained a distance and she started hating father and she used to feel why god made fathers why god has made father fathers are so bad because she developed a feeling of hatred towards her father because the father was very strict and the father punished her but she did not realize that actually that punishment was very necessary for her if she is doing anything wrong she should be punished now kezia's neighbors were mcdonalds and every evening the kezia used to stand outside in the lawn and she used to watch mr mcdonald and mr mcdonald was their neighbor and he used to play joyously in their lawn with his all his kids so mr mcdonald every day he used to play with his children lovingly so she when she used to observe she observed wow the father our fathers are not always bad it is only my father who is bad otherwise see mr mcdonald such a good father he is he is playing with his children so he is such a nice father such a good father so she wondered he might be a different sort of father so she and she wondered that my father is not like him my father is so strict he is always punishing me he is so rude to me so that means all fathers are not like the him or not like my father and mr mcdonald he is a different sort of father now once her father, mother fell ill and she was hospitalized now as the mother was ill and was hospitalized the grandmother had to be with her in the hospital now kezia had a habit of sleeping with grandmother and if grandmother is not there she used to be under the care of mother now that day what happened because mother was ill and hospitalized grandmother had to accompany her in the hospital now she was left alone now she was all alone at home and under the care of the cook 
now the cook was also there at home and uh, she told you need not to worry i'm there with you so uh, you just uh, calm down and take care now she was so scared that she said you know i cannot sleep alone so uh, the cook said see don't worry nothing will happen and uh, kindly don't shout and scream and make noise so that your father gets up your father shouldn't uh, get up from sleep and he should not be you should not be screaming to disturb him now every time most of the time kezia used to see a nightmare and in that nightmare she used to see a man coming with a uh, with a weapon to hit her so that nightmare used to scare her so much that in the night she used to woke up and scream now already uh, sleeping alone was a was a very it's a terrible thing for her so she just thought let's see but today i'll try to sleep but that day again that night that nightmare came and she woke up and she screamed badly she was so scared she screamed badly and when she screamed what happened she saw that her father was standing at her by her bedside the father understood and father came running towards her the cook had gone it was night the cook had left and she was alone with father and when she saw uh, when she saw that nightmare she screamed and when she screamed she found her father standing by her bedside he picked her up and took her to her room he picked up he picked her up in his arms and then he took her to his to her room he tucked her up in his bed and soon fell asleep and he understood that the child is scared he, the child is uh, scared of the nightmare so he just tucked her up in his bed and soon fell asleep now at that time there was a different feeling for kezia kezia did not understand how was it possible this man who was a giant who always scolds me who is always punishing me how can he be so soft how can he be so caring so she could not understand that is it is he my same father so she was puzzled but she felt secure lying near her a lot of feelings of security was there in in her that is yes, i am secured now no matter if the nightmare comes or no matter if anything happens i am secured i am protected my father is there to protect me now she understood that yes my father is not like mr mcdonnell but he is not as a, as big as a giant also he is also a nice fellow he also possesses a nice good heart she felt the beating of her father's loving and large heart and now when the father tucked kezia in his arms she could feel the beating of her father's loving and large heart she could realize she could feel that beating and then she said no my father is not that bad he is also good he also have a loving heart finally she realized her father was also very loving so she said no okay my father doesn't have time like mr mcdonalds he doesn't have time to play with me but yes she he also possesses a loving heart he loves me so that brought about the change in the uh, in the mind of kezia that fine my father is strict my father is rude that is okay but he also possesses a loving heart he also has a heart and he also feels good for me from that day onwards kezia's mindset towards her father changed now this is just a summary so just to recap whatever you have understood from the chapter you have to prepare this chart and in this chart you need to write who wrote this chapter okay who are the main characters of these ch- this chapter why was kezia afraid of her father why was kezia's father angry with her how did kezia realize her father's plight 
she understood she she compared mr mcdonald and his and her own father and she understood that okay my father is very busy he doesn't have time to play with me but that doesn't mean that he is not a good father he possesses a heart he is a very good father now give two reasons why kezia and her parents could not understand each other now here the biggest plight of today's era is time shortage of time the hustle and bustle of life doesn't give time to even not even to parents even to children children also okay if you see nowadays not because of this uh, lockdown and all otherwise if you see the life of children in the cities morning they are going to school then after coming from school they have they will have their lunch and then again they will go for coaching then one coaching then another coaching then another coaching then they will come down then they will have some online classes so they they not even not only the parents even the children they are so much packed with their schedules that they don't have time to share things with the, each other parent and children and this is the reason that why there is such a big communication gap between parents and children nowadays okay before this now just let's uh, sum up what is the theme the theme of this chapter is relationship between children and their parents children share a very important bond of love with their parents okay nowadays the differences between parents and children that is the main reason of the degrading values in the society so a very important bond of love is there between children and parents and that that bond should not be decreased it should be it should be strengthened now when young they do not feel that their parents love them because their parents are strict and many actions of parents seem unjustified many times we feel our parents are wrong okay they do injustice to us they are not just to us and generally when for, for your siblings okay for my younger brother oh my my mom is very you know partial my father is very partial they are not scolding my younger brother they are not scolding my younger sister they are always scolding me it's not like that they just balance everything okay the child is small the child has received less love so more emphasis should be given to that child but the elder one thinks that the he or she is neglected he or she is ignored but actually doesn't happen now but as the children grow up they realize that all the acts done by their parents were beneficial for them many times it happens children you know when they pass out from schools when they are in colleges they come and they speak okay today we realize that why you people were strict to us and now your that the discipline in the school has made us something in a life and it was not difficult for us to cope up with certain situations because we were disciplined we knew how to manage things so but as the children grow up they realize that all the acts done by their parents were beneficial for them the parents were concerned for them and beneath the strictness lies a heart full of love for the children i don't think there is any parent who will not be loving their child each and every parent love the child but the thing is some parents they do not show okay generally fathers if you analyze fathers they never show their love they they are always very loving but they are hesitant they will not show their love they are always strict they are always rude they always you know scold don't do this you should not do this so what happens the child doesn't understand that the strong feelings behind this anger behind this rudeness is to change us is to bring about positive changes in us so we we just forget the love the care which they are taking for us but we just remember the scolding we remember the punishment okay uski mummy to kuch nahi bolti uske papa to kuch nahi bolte no okay if your parents are telling you something means they mean they want you to be a good person so 
relationship between children and their parents is the main theme of this chapter now character sketch of kezia qualities she was very obedient child okay now here see when you are writing obedient you have to write the textual events from the uh, from the chapter okay how can you say that she was obedient so you have to mention the text that how she was obedient she was innocent yes she was innocent she took the papers unknowingly she did not know that those papers which she is tearing and filling in the cushion were an important document that was an important document of her father she doesn't know this so that is the reason that she showed her innocence and she accepted it also it's not that she did not accept you know no i did not do this i don't know where is the paper she accepted and she told yes the papers were lying here i took them i tore it and i have filled the cushion now sensitive kezia was very sensitive she could feel the harshness also and afterwards she could feel the love also of her father emotional yes she was very emotional she was because whenever uh, her father used to scold she used to become very emotional she used to understand and she used to try to analyze and impulsive she was very impulsive now what do you mean by impulsive impulsive means when you are trying to make the other person do something means uh, you just uh, you just act suddenly okay you just act suddenly without thinking that you can say that means impulsive okay without giving a careful thought you just react that is impulsive means just at your first impulse you just react okay you don't take time to think analyze and then do for example when father punished okay he is like a giant he is so rude okay he is a very bad person he is not a good father so this is impulsive means you just react at the first impulse without even giving a clear thought now relationship with father she was very fearful in the starting afterwards she realizes that yes now my father is not wrong that is okay he doesn't have time but that doesn't mean that he is wrong mother she was very obedient for her mother when mother asked her she said yes when mother told come to father very obediently she went to father and got the scolding affection yeah she was very affectionate with her grandmother both grandmother and granddaughter had a very affectionate relationship grandmother used to share things with her grandmother she she used to sleep with grandmother alice alice is the cook and alice was very friendly she took care of kezia when the mother and grandmother were in hospital and alice tried to console her convince her to sleep comfortably and she even told that you need not to scream okay nothing will happen you will get a good sleep and you will relax yes now character sketch of kezia's grandmother she was very affectionate okay that you can see from the story that uh, in the story in the starting you will see that she was uh, she used to sleep with uh, kezia means kezia used to sleep with grandmother and then she used to tell stories she used to suggest it was grandmother who suggested kezia that it's your father's birthday so why don't you make some gift for your father and give and gift uh, him gift it to him so that was an affectionate relationship then mature she was very mature naturally age also experience also made her very mature and see if you see that with her daughter in law also that means with kezia's mother she is to stayed in the hospital she took care of her daughter in law okay so she was very supportive and she was very understanding she told about kezia she told kezia about her father ki oh, no he is not that bad so she was supportive she was mature she was understanding she was affectionate now grandmother's relationship with the son was very understanding she understood what was uh, his uh, desires and how he should be treated 
then she was very supportive to her daughter in law because she stood she stayed there in the hospital taking care of her daughter in law so she was very supportive and for kezia she was very affectionate she had a very good bonding with kezia now character sketch of kezia's father kezia's father was very domineering he was very dominating and he dominated in the whole family and uh, he that was his instinct okay that was his basic nature of dominating domineering authoritative everything you know well planned and whatever he as if he is the authority what he said should be done what is wrong should be get should get the punishment so he was very authoritative he was very strict okay everything should be planned he doesn't like uh, uh, simple you know a very light mood and all he was very strict then disciplinary everything in discipline if something wrong has been done the punishment should be given so disciplinary unexpressive he had a good heart he loved his child but he did not express oh babu i love you oh beta i love you that he couldn't do so he was unexpressive mostly fathers are unexpressive they will have the feeling but they will not convey that feeling they will not express that feeling now relationship with kezia kezia he was a very strict father for kezia then he was very authoritative husband for his wife okay because when he ordered his wife go and search where are my papers i couldn't find my papers then with mother yeah he respected his mother a lot and work he was very dedicated and that is why he couldn't get he couldn't give time to his family but he gave first priority to his work and that shows his dedication towards his work now this we have already uh, 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 seen this picture but now what is happening in this picture is there any change in your perspective starting also we read this chapter and now again we have seen this picture so it, do you think that there is any change in your perspective after reading this chapter earlier we were seeing that the child is getting annoyed okay that mother is busy reading newspaper father is sleeping now again the picture is same but our perspective of seeing has changed now the child is seeing ki oh see my father is so exhausted that he is taking a nap okay i should not disturb him my mama after such a long time she got some few moments of rest let her take uh, calm down and take, relax i will not disturb her now see the perspective has changed so it completely without we should not be impulsive okay we should not form an uh, uh, any image about any anyone after just at at what's first sight okay we need to think we need to understand okay now we will not uh, go for quiz time so i hope you understood the chapter and uh, how we have how uh, how the perspective of a small child changed how certain incidents in our life change our perspective for certain things for certain people so i hope you understood the chapter and uh, let's understand our parents and have a good bonding with our parents thank you